sixth program. So sixth program is about a navy based classifier model. Okay, so this is the problem statement. Assuming a set of documents that need to be classified, use the navy based classifier model to perform this task. Okay. Build in a Java classes or API can be used to write a program. Calculate the accuracy, precision, recall for your data set. So here what they are giving. So we need to take your set of documents and we need to classify. For example, here we are taking a data set. Okay, so this is the data set we are taking. So I love this sandwich. We will classify this data set into data into document into positive opinion is positive or negative. So this statement, I love this sandwich. So this is a positive statement. I love this sandwich. This is an amazing place. This is positive statement. Okay, like that. So I don't like this restaurant. This is a negative statement. So I am tried of this stuff. This is a negative statement. Like that, here we have a like that. Here we have a data set. Okay, statements are there. So we need to classify whether it will be positive or negative based on that opinion. That is your program. So here you need to use inbuilt navy place classifier. Okay, so everything is ready. Just you use that functions and you need to classify. After that, you need to calculate the recall precision and all the accuracy, all those things you need to calculate. Okay, so first thing is uh, already we know the navy place classifier. Okay, so first, what do you mean by accuracy? What do you mean by recall? And what do you mean by precision? Those things we need to discuss okay so what is accuracy accuracy is nothing but it is the number of correct predictions made divided by the total number of predictions made so here we have a so assume that here we have a 20 uh, sets are there so in that uh, 15 uh, data sets are positive so here uh, our model we need to find uh, it will how much it will predict positive correctly okay so based on that how much it will predict negative is correct Okay, so here that is total number of features classified correct. Suppose if we have a 20 features are there from the 20 features, if it is predicted, okay, 15 will be predicted, sorry, 10 it will be predicted. Total number of is 20, that is 10 divided by 20, that is 50% is the accuracy. Okay, so here this is the number of features classified correctly divided by number of features. So the number of number of features classified is 10, total number of features are uh, uh, 20 so it will be the accuracy okay so this one we, you know we will ca calculate using a sparse matrix okay so accuracy will be that is for example here we are i am taking an example okay so here are the predicted values and actual values whether we will be predicted correctly or not okay so here i am taking a, a female is pregnant okay that, that example i am taking so here so female is pregnant female is true pregnant is that is positive okay so that is female is true plus pregnant is positive so that one is this is true positive okay so like that so may, may i know pregnant is positive male if i take uh, male is you won't become a pregnant so it means male is positive sorry may, male is false okay male is false pregnant is positive okay so this is the actual <clears throat> like that so here false negative so here male is not pregnant that is negative not pregnant is negative pregnant is positive so here male not pregnant that is male is also false not pregnant is negative like that true negative female is not pregnant so female is true not pregnant is negative okay so the, like that we will represent the true positive true negative false negative and false positive okay so here negative is that actually is negative that is false okay then pregnant is positive okay so how, how we'll calculate true positive plus true negatives that is true positive plus true negative divided by all samples so true positive true negative that is female is pregnant female is not pregnant those are female is pregnant is positive uh, data and female is not pregnant is negative data Okay, so we are correct. If you are correcting correctly uh, 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 predicting things, then the accuracy will be the true positive plus true negative divided by all samples. Okay, so this is the accuracy. Then what is confusion matrix? Okay, this confusion matrix is an n into n matrix used for evaluating the performance of a classified model. Where is the number of target classes? 
okay so here whenever you want to uh, evaluating the performance of your cloud model so this one will be used that is uh, i already told not uh, true positive to know that one will call it as a confusion matrix okay to represent to verify your model we are using this confusion matrix okay the matrix compares the actual target values with those predicted by the machine learning model okay so here it will compare with the actual values with the what the model will predict that values it will compare and it will gives a bit holistical view of how well our classification model is performing and what kind of errors it is making so all those things we can get from this confusion matrix okay that is your what is accuracy what is recall what is precision so all those things we will get from this confusion matrix okay so same thing this is a uh, same whatever i have discussed now that is that is an uh, example of confusion matrix so this is the actual okay this is the predicted values okay so here actually it may be uh, positive is there or negative is there so based on uh, and also if predicted if positive is also there negative is also there okay so how that uh, predicted values are correctly uh, uh, predicted to true positive or true negative those are the you know, positive values okay true positive and true uh, negative is nothing but we are predicting the values properly that is female is predicted female is not predicted okay those two examples i have taken okay so then what is you mean by precision and what is recall okay so these things we need to find from the a program okay so precision is also called positive predicted values okay so precision is also called positive predicted values it means the percentage of your results which are relevant okay so that one we will call it as a precision that is the percentage of your result which are relevant how much you are predicting correctly okay that one we will call it as a precision then recall refers to the percentage of total relevant results correctly classified by your algorithm okay so recall it refers to the percentage of total relevant results okay relevant results are there so in that how much your class uh, your program is classified correctly okay so if we will assume you know 20 is there 20 in the 20 50 are relevant in that 50 how much you are correctly predicting by your algorithm that one we will call it as recall how we will calculate these things from uh, confusion matrix okay so here i will take so here what is the, that uh, how we will represent that precision recall okay so precision will be the okay it is also positive positive predicted values only it is considered positive predicted values not negative is the fraction of relevant instance among those among the retrieved instances so here so precision is the thing but it i told it is called positive predicted values it will uh, take only positive predicted values that is true positive female is pregnant only it will take female is not pregnant is not taking okay so divided by true positive plus false positive okay that is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive okay so like that uh, using the this formula we will calculate the precision true positive only it will precision is nothing but a positive predicted values not negative predicted true negative values okay so that is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive then recall recall will be calculated from true positive divided by true positive false negative okay so true positive plus false negative so here relevant is nothing but true positive false negative okay <coughs> true positive plus false negative okay that is true positive divided by true positive and false negative that one we will call it as a recall i will take one example okay so here we have a uh, so you are you know uh, classifying the whether your email is a spam or normal okay so here predicted class will be uh, that is a uh, spam okay so if it is a uh, negative means it is a normal okay spam is positive suppose we are we are classifying the data uh, you know emails whether that email is uh, correctly predicted as spam or not spam spam is positive if it is email is spam that one we will call it as positive if email is not a spam if it is email is not spam means nothing but a 
negative that is normal okay so here so we have correctly predicted 320 uh, emails sort of okay so true positive so that emails are spam okay so here false negative that will be 43 okay and false positive <coughs> Okay, false positive is nothing but a, here we have a 20 and a true negative here we have a 538. So this is the uh, confusion matrix based on that classification of the data we are taking. Now we will calculate uh, recall and precision. So recall will be true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. So what is the true positive? It will be 320 divided by true positive plus false negative. So that is true positive is 320 plus false negative is 43. So when I divided by this two things, 320 divided by 363, I will get 0 0.882. This is the recall for your algorithm. And look, precision, precision will be true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. Okay. So true positive will be 320 divided by true positive is 320 plus false positive is 20. Okay. So false positive is 20. That is 320 divided by 3. 340 it will be 0 0.941 so usually the precision it will consider only positive uh, uh, true positive values so it will be 0 0.941 so here it will with the false negative the recall will be 0 0.882 so like that we need to calculate recall and precision from the uh, you know uh, confusion matrix okay so these things